Boyakasha. All right, guys, I'm making a video of those four maps that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, I know it's been a long time, just haven't really got around to it. It's been kind of lost until I recently found it. So here it is. It's still all the same. Uh, still should gain those 10 horsepower from before. Uh, hopefully it works for you guys. I also just don't want to be responsible for anything that happens to uh, engines because it's just a map that worked for this one team that uh, I worked for. So yeah, here it is. Hopefully it works for you guys. Best of luck. All right, so this is electrical before VTEC. Electric after VTEC. Fuel before VTEC. And fuel after VTEC. Now I add this blue little thing over here so you guys could uh, easily track where you are when you're actually putting that data in. Just for you guys, more convenient. Nice. All right, as far as parameters go, here's what I got. Uh, as far as VTEC goes, uh, I got it at 4807, lower and upper. The minimum speed we have is set at nine miles per hour. Uh, usually during the race, we're set at zero, just in case there's a problem with the vehicle speed sensor. Uh, it would just always go to VTEC, no matter what, what the scenario was. All right, as far as the closed loop, we got O2 heater disabled. It is also running an open loop. As far as fuel injectors go, we got the stock injector size at 240. The gear ratios are set. I think this is all standard for all the B16s, A2s. This is for idle. Minimum idle speed is 800 RPM. I think for every car it's gonna be just a little bit different. So you're gonna have to tinker with that just to get it right. As far as miscellaneous things, options, we have the, uh, the NOx sensor disabled, disabled ELD, disabled injector error, and disabled barometric pressure sensor. For the rev limiter, we have it set at 88.02, and we got the uh, fuel and ignition uh, rev limiter type. Alright guys, that should be it. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more videos like this around Integras and Hondas, so stay tuned. Bye guys.